this is Maria from the Skitsa Cookie channel and this is my wrap up video of the books that I've read in April. I know it's June and uh, the usual uh, explanation applies. It's I have too much stuff going on so I don't really have time to film and uh, I guess this is not going to be a channel where I have time to film like once a week or probably just once a month is what I'm going to uh, have time for hopefully once a month <laughs> because that's not often um yeah sorry about that but this is just a hobby of mine and uh, it takes too much time to film and edit and everything and i do it all by myself and i don't get paid or anything so i'm just gonna do it when i feel like doing it so and that's why and that was the boring first talk let's get on to the books that i've read um so the first one that i read um not last month, it's the month before last month, yeah, in April. I read a book that I read for my book club and that was um, Throw Away's Volume 1. Didn't really know much about this story and um, I think I... I think I knew it was some something about like kids and exper like ex experiments and powers and stuff. I think I knew that before, I'm not sure. I think maybe I know it now because I've read it, I don't know. Um, but I think it was an interesting story uh, and I actually really started to care for the characters and I got intrigued what was going to happen with them and their background story and what their powers were and how that works and what happened with all the the weird location where they got their powers, I think. Uh, I'm starting to forget a bit, but... Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting the story fair continue with it. I'm not sure if I will, because I did like it, but I'm not as... I mean, I have other series that's more of a favourite of mine than this series is, so I'm not sure, but I'm still quite intrigued to see what's going to happen. Uh, my friends in my book club was uh, thought it was a bit too confusing and a bit too many loose ends and sort of, I think it's sort of like Lost and like Morning Glories, it's a lot of stuff happening without you getting a proper explanation and I'm I'm fine with that if it's the first volume and not going on all the time so you get annoyed uh, but I think they could make it work and maybe explain more in the second volume and then I'm sure I'm gonna like it more. So I, I'm, I did like it even though my friends didn't really like it. Oh and also I really like uh, Alice, the weird ghost girl. Let me see if I can find a picture of her, that girl. Um, yeah, I think she was cool and creepy and uh, I'm really interested to see uh, more about her powers and more about what's going on with her because that's a bit... I'm not really sure if she's uh, a good good guy or not. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, I, I think I'm gonna continue with it. I'm not sure. Um, are any of you reading the single issues of this series and can tell me if it's get better or if it gets more confusing then you can write in the comments below and let me know if I should continue with this or if I just should uh, continue with other series. Uh, oh and uh, the artwork. I did like the art. It's um, I think it's sort of in the same feeling as um, clean room uh, that some pages are really gorgeous and some pages it's not as polished but still really good. I like the I think the characters looks quite cool. I like his hair um, with the, the blue um, and I think like I said I think the Alice girl that looks like a ghost uh, is really cool. Now I can't find a page for her but yeah um, I like the art. It's nice. Maybe uh, something I don't really like is that all the like background settings and stuff is so grey <laughs> and uh, that colouring is a bit boring but other than that it's quite as you can see it's it is quite quite colourful and quite cool um, so I did did enjoy the artwork in this one so yeah and then I read another nice cool creepy series and that was uh, Beauty 
um, volume two. Um, ugh, I'm bad at aiming this up. Yeah, the the cover is just stunning, and the art in the first volume was really, really gorgeous. I like the colors and everything. Uh, this series, this volume, uh, they changed the artist a bit. So in the beginning, it's the same artist as before, and it's really, really cool and really nicely done. I, I really liked uh, like the art, but um, but then they um, changed to a completely different artist. That the style is like as you can see, it's really quite different from the original artist and um, even though this is quite a cool style and it with this different story it did work but when you were expecting the the flawless perfect art like it was in the in the first volume and it fit so perfectly with the like these kind of style like in the first volume it, it fit really perfectly with the story it got this kind of creepy scary feeling and also it's just really gorgeously made so when they get the disease and get all pretty um, the style is really pretty so you can see how pretty they are and uh, and oh and also the cool glow and everything I thought that was so um, so cool and I love that from the first volume so when they change to this artist that's like I said it's still cool art but it's very very different I get a totally different feeling when reading this so it bugged me quite a lot um, that the art was so different and um, like I said I get a bit annoyed when they change it um, these this art style though, I think that was another artist but still quite quite sim quite sort of similar in the style as the original artist. So I thought that wasn't as uh, it didn't bug me as much, but still I do I did miss the original artist quite a lot actually. Um, but this 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 page was nice I think. I like the colours and her yellow dress. So yeah, they changed the artist a bit um, and I got confused by that and they also changed the story in the way that you're not following the main characters from the first volume, you're actually following completely new characters. So I got a bit put off, uh, I mean I got a bit annoyed by that but um, when I when I when I finished reading this I actually realized that I I really I like I, I liked the character quite a lot actually and I got really emotional and um, I, I liked this story quite a lot even though it's not it doesn't have anything really to do with the first issue well I mean the first volume except for the beauty of the seas so that's obviously in it, but all the main characters from the first volume is not in this one. And so I'm not I'm a bit confused of if volume three is gonna connect all these new and old characters or if it's going to be completely different yet again. Uh, I'm hoping that it will like combine these characters and the characters in the first volume. Um because otherwise it feels sort of uh, yeah, it's sort of like short novels and that's not really my style. I like getting connected with the characters and continue to follow them. So I'm hoping that I can wrap it up into something great. And after that, I read a story where I'm definitely, definitely connected with the characters. And that was um, Saga Volume 7. And I've said it said it before and I can say it again. The reason this, this series is such a favorite of mine is because of the characters. I like each and every one of them, even the bad and evil characters. I like the characters that's really good. I like the characters that's most of the characters that's more like both like good and um, good and not evil, but not always nice. And they're like, oh, they're so, they're so interesting and they're so unique and they're really different like they're all unique characters and they all stand out in their own way and I love that and I love the 
different and complex relationship with all the different characters and all the background story and why some people like each other and some people don't like each other and why some people are in war with each other and some people love each other and I I find that so so intriguing and um, yeah <coughs> and because of my love for the characters it's the same way as watching an episode of Game of Thrones I am I'm like holding my breath because I think it's I'm I'm so nervous that one of my favorite characters is gonna die in each fight and in each like thrilling scene. I'm always like scared of what's going to happen. Um so that's why this series is like phenomenally good. Um and in that sense I got really really sad of the ending, I'm not gonna say what happened but obviously something sad happened and I'm yeah that's that's what's happened in this kind of series people or character yeah bad stuff happens sometimes and I I got a bit annoyed of one character that warned them of something that was going to happen but they uh, but she warned them like six they take her it took her like six months before she warned them of the stuff that was going to happen and i thought that was weird because she cares about the other characters so why didn't she warn them before yeah yeah so 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 yeah um i'm not gonna show any art in this one because i don't want to spoil anything because this is a series that you don't want to get spoiled um but the art is perfect and beautiful as usual and then I read a series that I don't, um, that I forgot to write down some notes for, so I don't really remember that much about it. And it, I guess it didn't make that much of an impression. Um, and that is Tokyo Gold Volume 5. Um, <clears throat> this is a nice series. It's, a, it's okay. It, it's it's a nicely drawn and it's quite fun, but it doesn't really stick for me. Like I said, I don't remember that much. So, um, so yeah, I think maybe I'm gonna wait and um, see or like pause this for a while before I continue with it because I'm not really, really not that investigated. Investigated? Can you say that? In I'm not really that into this series at the moment, so I think I'm gonna focus on other series. Um, I can show you a bit of the art. So yeah, this one is as beautiful as the other volumes is. So it's not the art that doesn't make me want to read more. Um, the action scenes I've talked about before is a bit too fast and like sketchy so you don't really get the details. That's one complaint about the art. But other than that, it is, it is really um, pretty series i can see if i can get a page where i um that i especially like um i don't know it's something about the um the eyes and the um, the cool masks and stuff that i really think is quite gorgeous but yeah um good series but not uh, good enough for me to continue and then I read, also read another book for my book club, and that was In Real Life. Um, I love the, um, the, the company First, Second and their graphic novels. I'm like always really happy about the books that I read from them. They're always so cute and the stories are cute and the characters are cute. Um, so I was really uh, looking forward to read this one and I was not disappointed. Um, the story is cute and thoughtful and um, I'm, I'm really into the whole gaming stuff so it's really nice and really cool to read about that and it's interesting yeah, to read gaming and online gaming from the point of view of a girl since so I'm a girl and I know how um, internet can be a bit of a bitch sometimes when it comes to people being um, like hidden behind their computer so they can say whatever they feel like and don't think that and get away with it because they're because they think it's okay because it's not in real life I'm not sure uh, it's just yeah 
Um, so that was interesting, and it was really interesting to read about um, like the the, crack, the 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 stories about the girl that likes video games, and that she finds she befriends a boy in the game that's a gold digger, um, and he he's a Chinese boy that this is his actual work. So for him to get paid and uh, live and eat and everything, he has to. Um, collect stuff in the game and then sell them for money uh, for a company that he works for in China. Um, so that, I think all that, that part was really interesting and it was a good read. Uh, but mostly I must say that I love this um, this one because of the art. I, I think it's so gorgeous. It's so so cute. So yeah, the cover is, is quite cool and nice colors i think and then when you look inside it's um when it takes place in uh, her real life it's not it's more toned down the colors it's more earthy colors uh and it's really cute and nice uh but then when you are in the game it's much much more colorful and i think that's a good cool uh thing to make to make sure that you know if it's in the game or in real life uh, so it's much more colorful and, and I really like her character in the game uh, she's so so cute I like her red hair and I like the little boy that she's friends with he's so cute and I just uh, couldn't stop smiling when I read this because of the art is so colourful, so cute, and uh, it's quite a unique kind of drawing style that I really, really enjoy. And um, the the settings and the, all the like facial expressions and everything is just gorgeous. And um, the colouring is really cool. It looks like it's, I think it's computer made, but it sort of looks like it's made with watercolours. Um, it blends really well with a different, different kind of tones and uh, yeah, um, I can't, I mean it's just, oh, it's so cute, look, really, really, really nice. So yeah, and I like the bird, it's so cute. And also I liked the, uh, the part in the book where uh, there's a character that starts to discuss board games with the board game geeks at school and then she's like uh, like mentioning a lot of examples of board games and she's saying like the mainstream kind of board games like um, Monopoly, Scrabble and um, I'm not sure the names in, in English but and a lot of games that like People that are interested in board games don't really play those games, they play more real board games. And since I collect board games, I thought that was really funny because I know how you feel when people are like, oh, so you're into board games, so you like play Monopoly? And I was like, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I like that kind of humor when I recognize stuff from my own life. Own life. Um, uh, yeah. Liked it a lot, a bit, I thought the ending in that stuff is a bit, like, if you try hard enough, everything was be, one are gonna be okay and everything is gonna be perfect. And unfortunately, I don't think life is like that. If you try hard enough, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. So I thought that was a bit too cutesy. Uh, but otherwise, I, other, other than that, I really like this one. And then lastly, I read um, Silk, and this is volume two, but since it started with volume zero, this is the third one volume with Silk as the main character that I, um, that I read. Uh, I really like Silk as a character. I think this story wasn't maybe the best. Uh, the beginning was good and intriguing, and I like that one a lot. Uh, and I really feel bad for Black Cat. I like Black Cat. I think she's a cool villain, and I don't really... I feel for her. I don't, I mean, yeah, I think it's all. Her story is a bit sad. Um, and I really like Silk. I really do. So, yeah, um, same story as before. I've talked about this. Um, I love the, the art by um, Stacey Lee. Uh, let's see if I can find the pages here. Um, I think 
I think Silk and all the characters are so cute in that style and the, the hair and everything is just really perfect. I really enjoy that art design. Um, then when they change to, what's the name, uh, let me see, Tana Ford's art, um, it's really cool art and I think the style that it's really kind of unique and I still really like the colouring and um, you can still get the, the silk kind of feeling but it's it's something about uh, like you can see here it's something about the proportions of the bodies and the, the like it's something that's a bit off that I don't really like I guess when I'm used to the other art that's more like picture perfect I um, I compare it to that style and then when um, these bodies are a bit like you can see the arm is a bit uh, it's too skinny and a bit it's just a bit quirky sort of um, I'm not a fan of that uniqueness or whatever you can say um, so I'm a bit confused about this art it's nice it's sometimes nice and sometimes it bugs me a bit but um, yeah, it's still colourful and nice. Uh, but I'm hoping that we will see more of Stacey Lee's art in the in more uh, series of Silk. I'm hoping. And uh, yeah, well, and I was going to say before I talked about art that um, I thought the the part with the like the other dimension and the like fantasy sort of hellish world with like a fan oh, like a fantasy village and then like dragons and stuff i thought that was just weird i i don't know i like fantasy and dragons and that stuff when it comes to like i don't know game of thrones uh and fantasy book and fantasy series but when it comes to reading silk i don't know i don't want that stuff in my in mixed up with silk i thought it was just weird like fighting with swords and dragons, I, I don't know. Eh, I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, did, did you guys like that? Or did you guys think it was weird, uh, like me, that they threw in that kind of stuff? Um, I'm, um, maybe that's something that they do in Marvel quite often? I'm not that, I'm gonna be, I mean, I've read a lot of Marvel, but I'm still quite sort of, I'm still sort of new into this hobby, especially when it comes to reading superhero. Uh, comic, so I'm not sure if this is a regular thing that's happening, but um, yeah, it felt a bit off, I think. Uh, and that was it for this video. A bit confusing and a bit um, bubbly, as always, because I don't have time to prepare too much when I make this video. So they are what they are, and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Um, I'm just gonna be me talking about whatever comes to my head and s sometimes just look at my notes of the books that I've read. If I write notes, sometimes I do. And if I don't, I'm just gonna babble about whatever I remember about reading it. So it's not gonna be... These videos are never gonna be perfect. Uh, they're just gonna be what they are. But if you like it, then you can subscribe. Um, and yeah, have a lovely day. Bye.